All right, so it's time to get back on the CNC machine. Uh, it's been a couple weeks. Um, so what I was doing, um, I was doing a ball screw conversion on the uh, 3018 CNC. And uh, so I created a couple things. Uh, I mean, I bought the ball screw, so I have to make sure those fit. Um, I bought this, I showed you this in a previous video, this uh, control assembly here, which is gonna be the uh, Z-axis right here. And then I designed these little uh, plates in Fusion 360. And these are actually going to be the plates that actually mount here and mount this thing right here at the uh, bearings right there. So that's going to be the mount for the assembly. And then I created this to fit in here. And then the uh, ball screw uh, ball nut will be actually be right here. I'll show you that. So, I'm gonna, it's, so it's designed to go together as like a piece like this. And it's going to mat, it's going to lock down the bearings. And that's actually where the ball screw is going to mount right there. So, let me get that going. Uh, Got to find a way to get these uh, thing in there. But, uh, yeah, this will be cool. Hopefully it works. We'll see. All right, so check the ball screws. Get this mounted. Get it going. All right, so here are the ball screws. It's a 1204. So the pitch should be probably about the same. So I'm probably not going to have to really mess probably in the gerbil settings um, just because the pitch is the same. Um, but here it is. So it's going to go like that. Alright, so it, yeah, I mean there's a whole, it, ball screws are a whole different game than like say like the lead screws like this. It's a whole different, you know, the level of precision is a whole different, different ballpark. Um, Alright, so I need to find a way to get my bearing blocks on there and I'm most likely going to have to um, create some new um, some mounts here. So this is a uh, one that's longer than the other. But that doesn't uh, hmm alright well I'll have to figure it out. So yeah that should have been threaded out further. On the bottom, I think I'm good. At the top, I'm probably going to have to get another ball screw. I mean, I could try to adapt it to make it work, but I mean, the amount of time it might take me to modify it, I mean, this thing probably is like 15 20 bucks. So, it's probably too late to return it now. Plus, it was on eBay, so. Um, right, let me fill it back over. But yeah, this is looking good, the bottom, the uh, Y axis. Alright, so if you didn't know what I was talking about, um, I'm talking about this right here, this gap between the actual bearing clamp. Well, I can't thread it on there, so I need it enough. Come, there's a thread on the end of it, which I threaded a nut on there. So, and I'd rather have this on the outside and then on the inside. So, I gotta measure the difference here. Try to figure out how much extra length I need. So, I was gonna go, it's better to go bigger than smaller. Um, um, so I need to actually add about, I mean, at least 30 millimeter to it. So, um, I'm, I don't think they sell them those increments. I guess I, I could have a custom done, but, um, yeah, I don't know. Let me think about it here. I mean, obviously I'm going to have to make some custom stepper mounts for this thing, so that's not a big deal. You know, 3D print them, you know, to hold the stepper on here. But they're actually very close, though, to, to the... NEMA 17 holes, so I might be able to adapt that. Let's see. Well, everything in here seems like it's perfect, except for uh, this ball screw. The specs I got online don't match the specs that I got. But this is actually longer, so it doesn't sit all the way flush. So I'm going to redesign this um, to make this go deeper here. Plus, there's also an issue with the, uh, the, the grease hole. But there's other grease holes you can actually you can get to these little small holes. But uh, I'm probably just kind of greasy outside of the the thing here. I mean, this is not like a professional. I mean, this is this is actually an obviously not a professional ball screw, like for a real CNC machine. But we're talking 3018 here, <laughs> home user stuff. So I'm not too worried about it. Like I'm not in, in some sort of like production work. I'm just home hobbyist. It's been a couple days since I've started working on this, um, so I had to actually design a couple parts here. Um, this is actually going to be for the extruder. I'll show that to you once it's on there. And then um, 
Let's get them out to the back here. And this is the actual adapter plate that goes to the bottom of the bed. And it just goes in like that. I printed this out in 100%, 100% carbon fiber um, PLA. So 100% infill. So the thing with uh, a CNC machine, weight is your friend. With 3D printers, you want to basically make it as light as possible. Uh, because if it becomes heavy, then you get a lot of jerk. But with a CNC machine, you want it to be as heavy as possible. Um, Alright, so I get that in there like that. Bolt it. And there's some M4 screws in the back. I'm going to upload all this up to my Thingiverse page. And uh, so if you guys want to do this conversion, you'll have all the parts to get it done. Alright, guys. Got the Y axis going. So that's my plate, my adapter plate. Um, this is my uh, extruder, uh, not my extruder, but a stepper con converter block here. And you can see the uh, mountain there, so you can still get to the set screws and lock everything down. Let me show you real fast. We're going to open builds here. So if you're actually watching this and you see all the, this, this is actually my uh, 3D printed containment system. So if you want that, it's on Thingiverse too. But I'm actually going to be creating a page for this uh, ball screw conversion project. So all the parts required to, to do the ball screw conversion will be on there. Yeah, the main thing is there's zero play. We're talking like like nothing. I can't move this thing at all. Like with the lead screw, there was all kinds of play back and forth. At least like a millimeter or two. You know? Like we're talking zero, nothing. That's actually what you want. You know what I mean, if you're gonna be doing aluminum, anything like a hard material, like I want to do carbon fiber and aluminum, and that's the whole point of doing this. All right. So on the next video, I'm gonna be doing the actual uh, uh, x-axis or x and z. So I gotta put this plate on. I've already, like I said, I've already made the actual like adapter plates for the uh, the bearing blocks. You know, but uh, all right, cool, fun project. All right, awesome.